Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that a person came to Allah, S. Messenger and said, Who among the people is most deserving of a fine treatment from my hand? He said, Your mother. He again said, Then who? is the next one. He said, Again it is your mother, who deserves the best treatment from you. He said, Then who? is the next one. He, the Holy Prophet, said, Again, it is your mother. He, again, said, Then who? Thereupon he said, Then it is your father. In the Hadith transmitted on the authority of Qutalba, there is no mention of the word the people. Sahih Muslim 2548 a reference 45 Hadith 1 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that a person said, Allah's Messenger, who amongst the people is most deserving of my good treatment. He said, Your mother, again your mother, again your mother, then your father then your nearest relatives according to the order, of nearness. Sahih Muslim 2548b Reference 45 Hadith 2 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported. A person came to Allah's Apostle. The rest of the Hadith is the same as transmitted by Jarir but with this addition. By your father you would get the information. Sahih Muslim 2548c Reference 45 Hadith 3 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Ibn Shubruma with the same chain of transmitters and the Hadith transmitted on the authority of Wuhaid there is a slight variation of wording. Same is the case with the hadith transmitted on the authority of Muhammad peace be upon him be. Talha, and the words are, who amongst the people deserves the best treatment from me. Sahih Muslim 2548d Reference 45 Hadith 4 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Abdullah B. Amr reported that a person came to Allah's Apostle and sought permission to participate in jihad, whereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, Are your parents living? He said, Yes. Thereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, You should put in your best efforts in their service. Sahih Muslim 2549 Reference 45 Hadith 5 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Habib with the several chains of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2549b, see Reference 45 Hadith 6. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Yazid B. Abu Habib reported that Naim, the freed slave of Umm Salama, reported to him that Abdullah b. Amr b. as said, There came to Allah's apostle a person and said, I owe allegiance to you for migration and jihad seeking reward only from Allah. He, the holy prophet, said, Is one from amongst your parents living? He said, Yes, of course, both are living. He further asked, do you want to seek reward from Allah? He said, Yes. Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, Go back to your parents and accord them benevolent treatment. Sahih Muslim 2549d Reference 45 Hadith 7 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that Jurayi was one who was devoted to prayer, in the temple. His mother came to him. 
Humayd said that Abu Rafi demonstrated before us like the demonstration made by Abu Huraira to whom Allah's messenger had demonstrated as his mother called him placing her palms upon the eyebrows and lifting her head for calling him and said, Jiraiye, it is your mother, so talk to her. She found him at that time absorbed in prayer, so he said, to himself, O Lord, my mother, is calling me, whereas I am absorbed, in my prayer. He opted for prayer. She, his mother, went back, then came again for the second time and said, O Jiraiye, it is your mother, calling you, so talk to me. He said, O Allah, there is my mother also in my prayer, and he opted for prayer. She said, O Allah, this Jiraiye is my son. I pray to talk to him but he refuses to talk to me. O Allah, don't bring death to him unless he has seen the prostitutes, and had she invoked the curse upon him. From the heart of her heart. Sahih Muslim 2550 a reference 45 hadith 8. Sahih Muslim. The book of virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship he would have been involved in some turmoil. There was a shepherd living near by his temple the temple where Jiraiye was engaged in prayer. It so happened that a woman of that village came there and that shepherd committed fornication with her and she became pregnant and gave birth to a child. It was said to her, Whose child is this? She said, He is the child of one who is living in this temple. So there came persons with hatchets and spades. They called Jiraiye. He was absorbed in prayer and he did not talk to them and they were about to demolish that temple that he saw them and then came to them and they said, Ask her, this woman, what she says. He smiled and then touched the head of the child and said, Who is your father? He, the child, said, My father is the shepherd of the sheep, and when they heard this, they said, We are prepared to rebuild with gold and silver what we have demolished from your temple. He said, No, rebuild it with clay as it had been before. He then went up, to Sahih Muslim 2550 a reference 45 hadith 8. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship his room and absorbed himself in prayer. Sahih Muslim 2550 a reference 45 hadith 8. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying. None spoke in the cradle but only three persons, Christ son of Mary, the second one the companion of Jiraiye. Jiraiye had got constructed a temple and confined himself in that. His mother came to him as he was busy in prayer and she said, Jiraiye. He said, my Lord, my mother, is calling me while I am engaged in, my prayer. He continued with the prayer. She returned and she came on the next day and he was busy in prayer, and she said, Jiraiye. And he said, My Lord, my mother, is calling me while I am engaged, in prayer, and he continued with the prayer and she went back, and then on the next day she again came and he was busy in prayer and she said, Jiraiye. And he said, My Lord, my mother, is calling me while I am engaged in my prayer, and he continued with the prayer, and she said, My Lord, don't give him death unless he has seen the fate of the prostitutes. The story of Jiraiye and that of his meditation and prayer gained currency amongst Bani Sahih Muslim 2550b reference 45 hadith 9. Sahih Muslim the Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Israel. There was a prostitute who had been a beauty incarnate. She said, To the people, if you like I can allure him to evil. She presented herself to him but he paid no heed, to her. She came to a shepherd who lived near the temple and she offered herself to him and he had a sexual intercourse with her and so she became pregnant arid when she gave birth to a child she said. This is from Jiraiye. So they came and asked him to get down and demolish the temple and began to beat him. He said, 
what is the matter? They said, you have committed fornication with this prostitute and she has given birth to a child from your loins. He said, where is the child? They brought him, the child, and he said, just leave me so that I should observe prayer. And he observed prayer and when he finished, he came to the child. He struck his stomach and said, O oh boy, who is your father? Lai said, He is such shepherd. So they turned towards Jerea, kissed him and touched him, for seeking blessing, and said, Sahih Muslim 2550b Reference 45 Hadith 9 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship we are prepared to construct your temple with gold. He said, no, just rebuild it with mud as it had been, and they did that. Then there was a babe who was sucking his mother that a person dressed in fine garment came riding upon a beast. His mother said, O oh Allah, make my child like this one. He, the babe, left sucking and began to see towards him, and said, O oh Allah, don't make me like him. He then returned to the chest and began to suck the milk of his mother. He, Abu Huraira, said, I perceived as if I am seeing Allah's messenger as he is explaining the scene of his sucking milk with his forefinger in his mouth and sucking that. He, Abu Huraira, further reported Allah's apostle, may be peace upon him, as saying, there happened to pass by him a girl who was being beaten and they were saying, You have committed adultery and you have committed theft and she was saying, Allah is enough for me and he is my good protector, and his mother said, O oh Allah, don't make my child like her and he left Sahih Muslim 2550b Reference 45 Hadith 9 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship sucking the milk, and looked towards her and said, O oh Allah, make me like her, and there was a talk between them. She said, O oh with shaven head, a good-looking person happened to pass by and I said, O oh Allah, make my child like him, and you said, O oh Allah, don't make me like him, and they passed by a girl while they were beating her and saying, you committed fornication and you committed theft, and I said, O oh Allah, don't make my child like her, and you said, O oh Allah, make me like her. Thereupon he said, That person was a tyrant, and I said, O oh Allah, don't make me like him, and they were saying about her. You committed fornication whereas in fact she had not committed that and they were saying. You have committed theft whereas she had not committed theft, so I said, O oh Allah, make me like her. Sahih Muslim 2550b Reference 45 Hadith 9 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying, Let him be humbled into dust. Let him be humbled into dust. It was said, Allah's Messenger, who is he? He said, he who sees either of his parents during their old age or he sees both of them, but he does not enter paradise. Sahih Muslim 2551 Reference 45 Hadith 10 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Let him be humbled, let him be humbled. It was said, Allah's messenger, who is he? He said, he who finds his parents in old age, either one or both of them, and does not enter paradise. Sahih Muslim 2551b Reference 45 Hadith 11 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying, let him be humbled thrice, and the rest of the hadith is the same. Sahih Muslim 2551c Reference 45 Hadith 12 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Ibn Dinar reported that a desert Arab met Abdullah b. Umar on the way to Mecca, 
Abdullah greeted him and mounted him upon the donkey on which he had been riding and gave him the turban that he had on his head. Ibn Dinar, further, reported, We said to him, Abdullah b. Umar, may Allah do good to you. These are desert Arabs and they are satisfied even with meager things. Thereupon Abdullah said, His father was loved dearly by Umar b. Khatib and I heard Allah's messenger as saying, The finest act of goodness on the part of a son is to treat kindly the loved ones of his father. Sahih Muslim 2552 Reference 45 Hadith 13 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abdullah B. Umar reported Allah's Apostle as saying, The finest act of goodness is that a person should treat kindly the loved ones of his father. Sahih Muslim 2552 B. Reference 45 Hadith 14 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abdullah b. Dinar reported that when Abdullah b. Umar set out to Messia, he kept a donkey with him which he used as a diversion from the tedium of journey on the camel's back and had a turban which he tied round his head. One day, as he was riding the donkey a desert Arab happened to pass by him. He, Abdullah b. Umar, said, Aren't you so and so? He said, Yes, he gave him his donkey and said, Ride it, and tie the turban round your head. Some of his companions said, May Allah pardon you. You gave to this desert Arab the donkey on which you enjoyed ride for diversion and the turban which you tied round your head. Thereupon he said, Verily I heard Allah's messenger is saying, the finest act of goodness is the kind treatment of a person to the loved ones of his father after his death and the father of this person was a friend of Umar. Sahih Muslim 2552 C Reference 45 Hadith 15 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Nawaz B. Saman al-Ansari reported, I asked Allah's messenger about virtue and vice. He said, Virtue is a kind disposition and vice is what rankles in your heart and that you disapprove that people should come to know of it. Sahih Muslim 2553 Reference 45 Hadith 16 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Nawaz B. Saman reported. I stayed with Allah's messenger for one year. What obstructed me to migrate was, nothing, but, persistent, inquiries from him, about Islam. It was a common observation, that when any one of us migrated, to Medina, he ceased to ask, too many questions, from Allah's messenger. So I asked him about virtue and vice. Thereupon Allah's messenger said, Virtue is a kind disposition and vice is what rankles in your mind and that you disapprove of its being known to the people. Sahih Muslim 2553b Reference 45 Hadith 17 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that Allah's Messenger said, Verily Allah created the universe and when he had finished that, ties of relationship came forward and said this is the place for him who seeks refuge from severing of blood relationship. He said, Yes, are you not satisfied that I should keep relationship with one who joins your ties of relationship and sever it with one who severs your ties of relationship? They, the ties of blood, said, Certainly so. Thereupon he said, Well, that is how things are for you. Allah's Messenger then said, Recite if you like, but if you turn away you are sure to make mischief in the land and cut off the ties of kinship. Those it is whom Allah has cursed, so he has made them deaf and blinded their eyes. Do they not reflect on the Quran? Or, are there locks on their hearts? Sahih Muslim 2554 Reference 45 Hadith 18
Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Aisha reported Allah's Messenger as saying. The tie of kinship is suspended to the throne and says. He who unites me Allah would unite him and he who severed me Allah would sever him. Sahih Muslim 2555 Reference 45 Hadith 19 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Jubair B. Mutam reported on the authority of his father that Allah's Messenger said, The severer would not enter paradise. Ibn Umar said that Sufyan explained it as, one who severs the tie of kinship would not enter paradise. Sahih Muslim 2556 a Reference 45 Hadith 20 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Jubair B. Mutlam reported that his father narrated to him that Allah's Messenger said, the severer of the tie of kinship would not get into paradise. Sahih Muslim 2556b Reference 45 Hadith 21 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Zuri with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2556c Reference 45 Hadith 22 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Anas B. Malik reported. I heard Allah's Messenger as saying, He who is desirous that his means of sustenance should be expanded for him or his age may be lengthened, should join the tie of relationship. Sahih Muslim 2557 Reference 45 Hadith 23 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Anas B. Malik reported that Allah's Messenger said, He who likes that his sustenance should be expanded and his age may be lengthened should join the tie of kinship. Sahih Muslim 2557b Reference 45 Hadith 24 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that a person said, Allah's Messenger, I have relatives with whom I try, to have close relationship, but they sever, this relation. I treat them well, but they treat me ill. I am sweet to them but they are harsh towards me. Upon this he, the Holy Prophet, said, If it is so as you say, then you in fact throw hot ashes, upon their faces, and there would always remain with you on behalf of Allah, an angel to support you, who would keep you dominant over them so long as you adhere to this, path of righteousness. Sahih Muslim 2558 a Reference 45 Hadith 25 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Anas B. Malik reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Neither nurse mutual hatred, nor jealousy, nor enmity, and become as fellow brothers and servants of Allah. It is not lawful for a Muslim that he should keep his relations estranged with his brother beyond three days. Sahih Muslim 2558b Reference 45 Hadith 26 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Anas B. Malik reported Allah's Messenger as saying like this. This hadith has been narrated through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2559 Reference 45 Hadith 27 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Zuri with the same chain of transmitters with the addition of Ibn Uyayna. And the words are, Do not cut off, mutual relations. Sahih Muslim 2559b Reference 45 Hadith 28 
Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated through another chain of transmitters and the hadith transmitted on the authority of Abd al-Razik. The words are, neither nurse grudge nor sever, the ties of kinship, nor nurse enmity. Sahih Muslim 2559 see reference 45 hadith 29. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Anna's reported Allah's Apostle as saying, Nurse no grudge, nurse no aversion and do not sever ties of kinship and live like fellow brothers as servants of Allah. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Shuba with the same chain of transmitters but with this addition, as Allah has commanded you. Sahih Muslim 2559d, e reference 45 hadith 30. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Ayyub Ansiri reported Allah's Messenger as saying, it is not permissible for a Muslim to have estranged relations with his brother beyond three nights, the one turning one way and the other turning the other way when they meet. The better of the two is one who is the first to give a greeting. Sahih Muslim 2560 a reference 45 hadith 31. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Zuri with a slight variation of wording, and the words are. The one turning away and the other turning away when they meet and one avoids the other and the other also avoids him. Sahih Muslim 2560b reference 45 hadith 32. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abdullah b. Umar reported Allah's messenger as saying, It is not permissible for a Muslim to have estranged relations with his brother beyond three days. Sahih Muslim 2561 Reference 45 Hadith 33 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying, there should be no estranged relations beyond three days. Sahih Muslim 2562 reference 45 hadith 34. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying, Avoid suspicion, for suspicion is the gravest lie in talk and do not be inquisitive about one another and do not spy upon one another and do not feel envy with the other, and nurse no malice, and nurse no aversion and hostility against one another. And be fellow brothers and servants of Allah. Sahih Muslim 2563 Reference 45 Hadith 35 Sahih Muslim the Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Don't have estranged relations with the others, and don't nurse enmity and don't enter into a transaction when the other has already entered, and be fellow brothers and servants of Allah. Sahih Muslim 2563b Reference 45 Hadith 36 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Don't nurse malice against one another, don't nurse aversion against one another and don't be inquisitive about one another and don't outbid one another, with a view to raising the price, and be fellow brothers and servants of Allah. Sahih Muslim 2563c Reference 45 Hadith 37 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Amash with the same chain of transmit -ters. And the words are, Don't sever relations of kinship, don't bear enmity against one another, 
don't bear aversion against one another and don't feel envy against the other and live as fellow brothers as Allah has commanded you. Sahih Muslim 2563d Reference 45 Hadith 38 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Don't bear aversion against one another and don't be jealous of one another and be servants of Allah. Sahih Muslim 2563e Reference 45 Hadith 39 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying, Don't nurse grudge and don't bid him out for raising the price and don't nurse aversion or enmity and don't enter into a transaction when the others have entered into that transaction and be as fellow brothers and servants of Allah. A Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. He neither oppresses him nor humiliates him nor looks down upon him. The piety is here, and while saying so, he pointed towards his chest thrice. It is a serious evil for a Muslim that he should look down upon his brother Muslim. All things of a Muslim are inviolable for his brother in faith, his blood, his wealth and his honor. Sahih Muslim 2564 Reference 45 Hadith 40 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Abu Huraira with some addition. And it is this. Verily Allah does not look to your bodies nor to your faces but he looks to your hearts, and he pointed towards the heart with his fingers. Sahih Muslim 2564b Reference 45 Hadith 41 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying. Verily Allah does not look to your faces and your wealth but he looks to your heart and to your deeds. Sahih Muslim 2564 c Reference 45 Hadith 42 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying. The gates of paradise are not opened but on two days, Monday and Thursday. And then every servant, of Allah, is granted pardon who does not associate anything with Allah except the person in whose heart there is rancor against his brother. And it would be said, look towards both of them until there is reconciliation. Look toward both of them until there is reconciliation. Look towards both of them until there is reconciliation. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Sahail who narrated it on the authority of his father with the chain of transmitters of Maiik, but with this variation of wording. Those would not be granted pardon, who boycott each other. Sahih Muslim 2565a, b reference 45 hadith 43. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported it as a Marfu Hadith. And the words are, The deeds are presented on every Thursday and Monday in Allah, the Exalted and Glorious. Grants pardon to every person who does not associate anything with Allah except the person in whose, heart, there is rancor against his brother. It would be said, put both of them off until they are reconciled. Sahih Muslim 2565c Reference 45 Hadith 44 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Haram reported Allah's Messenger as saying the deeds of people would be presented every week on two days, viz. Monday and Thursday and every believing servant would be granted pardon except the one in whose heart there is rancor against his brother and it would he said, leave them and put them off until they are turned to reconciliation. Sahih Muslim 2565d Reference 45 Hadith 45 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, 
enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying, Verily, Allah would say on the day of resurrection, Where are those who have mutual love for my glory's sake? Today I shall shelter them in my shadow when there is no other shadow but the shadow of mine. Sahih Muslim 2566 Reference 45 Hadith 46 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying, A person visited his brother in another town and Allah deputed an angel to wait for him on his way and when he came to him he said, Where do you intend to go? He said, I intend to go to my brother in this town. He said, Have you done any favor to him, the repayment of which you intend to get? He said, No, accepting this that I love him for the sake of Allah, the exalted and glorious. Thereupon he said, I am a messenger to you from Allah, to inform you, that Allah loves you as you love him, for his sake. Sahih Muslim 2567 Reference 45 Hadith 47 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Hamad b. Salama with the same of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2567 b reference 45 hadith 48. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Rabi reported directly from Allah's Apostle may peace upon him, as saying, The one who visits the sick is in fact like one who is in the fruit garden of paradise so long as he does not return. Sahih Muslim 2568 a Reference 45 Hadith 49 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Thaban, the freed slave of Allah's Messenger reported that Allah's messenger said, He who visits the sick continues to remain in the fruit garden of paradise until he returns. Sahih Muslim 2568b Reference 45 Hadith 50 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Thaban reported Allah's Apostle as saying, Verily, when a Muslim visits his brother in Islam he is supposed to remain in the fruit garden of paradise until he returns. Sahih Muslim 2568c Reference 45 Hadith 51 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Thaban, the freed slave of Allah's Messenger, reported Allah's Messenger as saying, he who visits the sick is supposed to remain in the fruit garden of paradise. It was said, Allah's messenger, what is this kerfat ul jana? He said, it is a place abounding in fruits. Sahih Muslim 2568d Reference 45 Hadith 52 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Asim al-Awal with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2568e Reference 45 Hadith 53 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Verily, Allah, the exalted and glorious, would say on the day of resurrection, O son of Adam, I was sick but you did not visit me. He would say, O my Lord, how could I visit thee whereas thou art the Lord of the worlds? Thereupon he would say, Didn't you know that such and such servant of mine was sick but you did not visit him and were you not aware of this that if you had visited him, you would have found me by him? O son of Adam, I asked food from you but you did not feed me. He would say, My Lord, how could I feed thee whereas thou art the Lord of the worlds? He said, 
didn't you know that such and such servant of mine asked food from you but you did not feed him, and were you not aware that if you had fed him you would have found him by my side? The Lord would again say smiley face, O son of Adam, I asked drink from you but you did not provide me. He would say, My Lord, how could I provide thee whereas thou art the Lord of the worlds? Thereupon Sahih Muslim 2569 Reference 45 Hadith 54 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship he would say. Such and such of servant of mine asked you for a drink but you did not provide him, and had you provided him drink you would have found him near me. Sahih Muslim 2569 Reference 45 Hadith 54 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha reported, I did not see anyone else being afflicted with more severe illness than Allah's Messenger. In the narration transmitted by Uthman there is a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2570 a reference 45 hadith 55. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Amash through other chains of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2570b reference 45 hadith 56. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abdullah reported. I visited Allah's messenger as he was running a high temperature. I touched his body with my hand and said to him, Allah's messenger, you are running a high temperature, whereupon Allah's messenger said, Yes, it is so. I comparatively have a more severe fever than any one of you. I said, is it because there is a double reward in store for you? Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, Yes, it is so. And Allah's Messenger again said, When a Muslim falls ill, his compensation is that his minor sins are obliterated just as leaves fall, in autumn. In the hadith transmitted on the authority of Zubair there is no mention of these words, I touched his body with my hands. Sahih Muslim 2571 Reference 45 Hadith 57 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Jarir and the Hadith transmitted on the authority of Abu Muawiyah There is an addition of these words. He said, Yes, by him in whose hand is my life, there is no Muslim upon the earth. The rest of the hadith is the same. Sahih Muslim 2571b Reference 45 Hadith 58 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Aswad reported that some young men from the Quraysh visited Aisha as she was in Mina and they were laughing. She said, What makes you laugh? They said, such and such person stumbled against the rope of the tent and he was about to break his neck or lose his eyes. She said, Don't laugh for I heard Allah's messenger is saying, If a Muslim runs a thorn or gets into trouble, severe than this, there is assured for him, a higher rank and his sins are obliterated. Sahih Muslim 2572 Reference 45 Hadith 59 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha reported Allah's Messenger as saying, A believer does not receive, the trouble, of running a thorn or more than that but Allah elevates him in rank or effaces his sins because of that. Sahih Muslim 2572b Reference 45 Hadith 60 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha reported Allah's Messenger as saying, A believer does not undergo, the trouble, of running a thorn or more than that when Allah effaces his sins. 
Sahih Muslim 2572C Reference 45 Hadith 61 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship the above hadith has been transmitted by Hisham with the same chain. Sahih Muslim 2572D Reference 45 Hadith 62 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Aisha reported. Allah's Messenger said, There is no trouble that comes to a believer except that it obliterates from his sins, even if it is the pricking of a thorn Sahih Muslim 2572e Reference 45 Hadith 63. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Aisha said. No trouble comes to a believer even if it is the pricking of a thorn that it becomes. The means. Whereby his sins are effaced or his sins are obliterated. Yazid says. He does not know which word Urwa said, whether he said Qusa or Kafira. Sahih Muslim 2572F Reference 45 Hadith 64 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Aisha reported. I heard Allah's Messenger is saying. There is nothing, in the form of trouble, that comes to a believer even if it is the pricking of a thorn that there is decreed for him by Allah good or his sins are obliterated. Sahih Muslim 2572 grams reference 45 hadith 65. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Sa'id and Abu Huraira reported that they heard Allah's Messenger is saying, Never a believer is stricken with discomfort, hardship or illness, grief or even with mental worry that his sins are not expiated for him. Sahih Muslim 2573 Reference 45 Hadith 66 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported that when this verse was revealed, whoever does evil will be requited for it, and when this was conveyed to the Muslims they were greatly perturbed. Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, Be moderate and stand firm in trouble that falls to the lot of a Muslim, as that is an expiation for him even stumbling on the path or the pricking of a thorn, or an expiation for him. Muslim said that Umar b. Abd al-Rahman Mahazan was from amongst the people of Mecca. Sahih Muslim 2574 Reference 45 Hadith 67 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Habir b. Abdullah reported that Allah's Messenger visited Umm Sayyib or Umm Musayyib and said, Umm Sayyib or Umm Musayyib. Why is it that you are shivering? She said, It is fever and may it not be blessed by Allah, whereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, Don't curse fever for it expiates the sin of the children of Adam just as furnace removes the alloy of iron. Sahih Muslim 2575 Reference 45 Hadith 68 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Adabi. Abi Rabi said. Ibn Abbas said to me. May I show you a woman of paradise? I said. Yes. He said. Here is this dark complexioned woman. She came to Allah's Apostle and said, I am suffering from falling sickness and I become naked. Supplicate Allah for me. Whereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, Show endurance as you can do and there would be paradise for you and, if you desire, I supplicate Allah that he may cure you. She said, I am prepared to show endurance, but the unbearable trouble is, that I become naked, so supplicate Allah that he should not let me become naked so he supplicated for her. Sahih Muslim 2576 Reference 45 Hadith 69 
Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Dair reported Allah's messenger as saying that Allah, the exalted and glorious, said shocked face, my servants, I have forbidden oppression for myself and have made it forbidden amongst you, so do not oppress one another. O my servants, all of you are astray except for those I have guided, so seek guidance of me and I shall guide you, O my servants, all of you are hungry except for those I have fed, so seek food of me and I shall feed you. O my servants, all of you are naked except for those I have clothed, so seek clothing of me and I shall clothe you. O my servants, you sin by night and by day, and I forgive all sins, so seek forgiveness of me and I shall forgive you. O my servants, you will not attain harming me so as to harm me, and will not attain benefiting me so as to benefit me. O my servants, were the first of you and the last of you, the human of you and the jinn of you to be as pious as the most pious heart of any one man of you, that would not increase my dominion in anything. O Sahih Muslim 2577 a Reference 45 had at 70. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship my servants, were the first of you and the last of you the human of you and the jinn of you to be as wicked as the most wicked heart of any one man of you, that would not decrease my dominion in anything. O my servants, were the first of you and the last of you, the human of you and the jinn of you to rise up in one place and make a request of me, and were I to give everyone what he requested, that would not decrease what I have, any more that a needle decreases the sea if put into it. O my servants, it is but your deeds that I record for you and then recompense you for. So let him who finds good, praise Allah, and let him who finds other than that blame no one but himself. Said said that when Abu Idris Khalini narrated this hadith he knelt upon his knees. Sahih Muslim 2577 Reference 45 Hadith 70 Sahih Muslim the Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship the hadith is narrated through Abu Mushir from said bin Abdul Aziz except that the previous hadith through Marwan was the more complete of the two. Sahih Muslim 2577b Reference 45 Hadith 71 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith is also transmitted through Ibn Bashir and Muhammad peace be upon him bin Muhammad peace be upon him through Abu Mashur through the same chain, narrated to its full extent Sahih Muslim 2577c reference 45 hadith 72. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Dair reported Allah's messenger as saying that he reported it from his Lord, the exalted and glorious. Verily I have made oppression unlawful for me and for my servants too, so do not commit oppression. The rest of the hadith is the same. Sahih Muslim 2577d Reference 45 Hadith 73 Sahih Muslim the Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Habir B. Abdullah reported that Allah's Messenger said, Be on your guard against committing oppression, for oppression is a darkness on the day of resurrection, and be on your guard against stinginess for stinginess destroyed those who were before you, as it incited them to shed blood and make lawful what was unlawful for them. Sahih Muslim 2578 Reference 45 Hadith 74 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Ibu Umar reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Oppression is the darkness on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2579 Reference 45 Hadith 75 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Salim reported on the authority of his father that Allah's Messenger said, A Muslim is the brother of a fellow Muslim. 
he should neither commit oppression upon him nor ruin him, and he who meets the need of a brodier, Allah would meet big needs, and he who relieved a Muslim from hardship Allah would relieve him from the hardships to which he would be put on the day of resurrection, and he who did not expose the follies of a Muslim, Allah would conceal his follies on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2580 Reference 45 Hadith 76 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Do you know who is poor? They, the companions of the Holy Prophet, said, A poor man amongst us is one who has neither dirham with him nor wealth. He, the Holy Prophet, said, the poor of my ummah would be he who would come on the day of resurrection with prayers and fasts and zakat but, he would find himself bankrupt on that day as he would have exhausted his funds of virtues, since he hurled abuses upon others, brought calumny against others and unlawfully consumed the wealth of others and shed the blood of others and beat others, and his virtues would be credited to the account of one, who suffered at his hand. And if his good deeds fall short to clear the account, then his sins would be entered in, his account, and he would be thrown in the hellfire. Sahih Muslim 2581 Reference 45 Hadith 77 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Rights will certainly be restored to those entitled to them on the Day of Resurrection to the point that, even the hornless sheep will lay claim upon the horned one. Sahih Muslim 2582 Reference 45 Hadith 78 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Musa reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Allah, the Exalted and Glorious, grants respite to the Apasur. But when he lays hand upon him, he does not then let him off. Re. The Holy Prophet. Then recited this verse. Such is the chastisement of thy Lord when he chastises the towns, inhabited by, wrongdoing persons. Surely, his punishment is painful, severe, she. 103. Sahih Muslim 2583 Reference 45 Hadith 79. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Habir B. Abdullah reported that two young men, one from the Muhajirin, emigrants, and the other one from the Anger. Helpers, fell into dispute and the Muhajir called his fellow Muhajirin, and the Ansari, the helper, called the Ansar, for help. In the meanwhile, Allah's messenger came there and said, What is this? the proclamation of the days of Jahiliyyah, ignorance. They said, Allah's messenger, there is nothing serious. The two young men fell into dispute and the one struck at the back of the other. Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, Well, a person should help his brother whether he is an oppressor or an oppressed. If he is the oppressor he should prevent him from doing it, for that is his help and if he is the oppressed he should be helped, against oppression. Sahih Muslim 2584 Reference 45 Hadith 80 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Habir B. Abdullah reported, We were along with Allah's messenger in an expedition that a person from amongst the emigrants struck at the back of a person from the answer. The Ansiri said, O Ansar, and the Mahijir said, O emigrants. Thereupon Allah's messenger said, What are these proclamations of the days of ignorance? They said, Allah's messenger, a person from the emigrants struck at the back of an Ansari, whereupon he said, It is something disgusting. Abdullah b. Ubay heard it and said, They have indeed done it. By Allah, when we would return to Medina the respectable amongst them, the Ansar, would turn away the mean, the emigrants. 
Thereupon Umar said, Permit me so that I should strike the neck of this hypocrite. But he, the holy prophet, said, Leave him, the people may not say that Muhammad peace be upon him kills his companions. Sahih Muslim 2584b Reference 45 Hadith 81 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Habir B. Abdullah reported that a person from the emigrants struck the back of an Ansari. He came to Allah's Apostle and asked for compensation. Thereupon Allah's Apostle said, Leave it, for it is something disgusting. Ibn Mansur said that in the narration transmitted on the authority of Amr, these words are also found, I heard Habir. Sahih Muslim 2584 C Reference 45 Hadith 82 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Musa reported Allah's Messenger as saying, A believer is like a brick for another believer, the one supporting the other. Sahih Muslim 2585 Reference 45 Hadith 83 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Numan B. Bashir reported Allah's messenger as saying, The similitude of believers in regard to mutual love, affection, fellow feeling is that of one body. When any limb of it aches, the whole body aches, because of sleeplessness and fever. Sahih Muslim 2586 a Reference 45 Hadith 84 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Numan B. Bashir reported a hadith like this from Allah's Apostle. Sahih Muslim 2586b Reference 45 Hadith 85 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Numan B. Bashir reported Allah's messenger as saying, The believers are like one person. If his head aches, the whole body aches with fever and sleeplessness. Sahih Muslim 2586c Reference 45 Hadith 86 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Numan B. Bashir reported that Muslims are like one body of a person. If the eye is sore, the whole body aches, and if the head aches, the whole body aches. Sahih Muslim 2586d Reference 45 Hadith 87 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship A Hadith like this has been narrated on the authority of Newman B. Bashir through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2586e Reference 45 Hadith 88 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, When two persons indulge in hurling, abuses, upon one another, it would be the first one who would be the sinner so long as the oppressed does not transgress the limits. Sahih Muslim 2587 Reference 45 Hadith 89 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Charity does not decrease wealth. No one forgives another except that Allah increases his honor, and no one humbles himself for the sake of Allah except that Allah raises his status. Sahih Muslim 2588 Reference 45 Hadith 90 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Do you know what is backbiting? They, the companions, said, Allah and his messenger know best. Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, 
Backbiting implies you're talking about your brother in a manner which he does not like. It was said to him. What is your opinion about this that if I actually find that failing in my brother which I made a mention of? He said. If that failing is actually found in him, what you assert, you in fact backbited him, and if that is not in him it is a slander. Sahih Muslim 2589 Reference 45 Hadith 91 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying, The Servant, Whose Fault, Allah Conceals in This World, Allah Would Also Conceal, His Faults, On the Day of Resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2590 A Reference 45 Hadith 92 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying, The servant, who conceals the faults of others in this world, Allah would conceal his faults on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2590b Reference 45 Hadith 93 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha reported that a person sought permission from Allah's Apostle to see him. He said, Grant him permission. And also added smiley face. He is a bad son of his tribe or he is a bad person of his tribe. When he came in he used kind words for him. Aisha reported that she said, Allah's messenger, you said about him what you had to say and then you treated him with kindness. He said, Aisha, verily in the eye of Allah, worst amongst the person in rank on the day of resurrection is one whom the people abandon or desert out of the fear of indecency. Sahih Muslim 2591 Reference 45 Hadith 94 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship This hadith has been reported on the authority of Ibn Munkadir with the same chain of transmitters but with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2591b Reference 45 Hadith 95 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Jarir reported from Allah's Messenger. He who is deprived of tenderly feelings is in fact deprived of good. Sahih Muslim 2592 Reference 45 Hadith 96 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Jarir reported Allah's Messenger as saying. He who is deprived of tenderly feelings is in fact deprived of good. Sahih Muslim 2592b Reference 45 Hadith 97 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Jarir b. Abdullah reported Allah's Apostle as saying, he who is deprived of tenderly feelings is in fact deprived of good and he who is deprived of tenderly feelings is in fact deprived of good. Sahih Muslim 2592c Reference 45 Hadith 98 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha, the wife of Allah's Apostle, reported that Allah's Messenger said, Aisha, Verily Allah is kind and he loves kindness and confers upon kindness which he does not confer upon severity and does not confer upon anything else besides it, kindness. Sahih Muslim 2593 Reference 45 Hadith 99 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, Enjoining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha, the Wife of Allah's Apostle reported Allah's Apostle as saying, Kindness is not to be found in anything but that it adds to its beauty and it is not withdrawn from anything but it makes it defective. Sahih Muslim 2594 Reference 45 Hadith 100 
Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been reported by Meekdom B. Sharia B. Hani with the same chain of transmitters but with this addition. Aisha mounted upon a wild camel and she began to make that go round and round. Thereupon Allah's messenger said, You should show kindness, and then he made a mention of this hadith. Sahih Muslim 2594b Reference 45 Hadith 101 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Imran B. Hussain reported. We were with Allah's messenger in some of his journeys and there was a woman from the Ansar riding a she-camel that it shied and she invoked curse upon that. Allah's messenger heard it and said, Unload that and set it free for it is accursed. Imran said, I still perceive that, dromedary, walking amongst people and none taking any notice of that. Sahih Muslim 2595 a Reference 45 Hadith 102 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Imran reported. I perceive as if I am looking towards that dromedary, and in the hadith transmitted on the authority of Thakafi. The words are, Unload it and make its back bare for it is accursed. Sahih Muslim 2595b Reference 45 Hadith 103 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Burza al-Islami reported that a slave girl was riding a dromedary and there was also the luggage of people upon it. That she suddenly saw Allah's Apostle. The way of the mountain was narrow and she said, to that dromedary, go ahead, but that dromedary did not move. She, that slave girl, out of anger, said, O Allah, let that, dromedary, be damned. Thereupon Allah's Apostle said, Let the dromedary on which the curse has been invoked not proceed with us. Sahih Muslim 2596 a Reference 45 Hadith 104 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Sulaiman Taimi with the same chain of transmitters but with a variation of words, and that is, by Allah, let that accompany us not which has been damned, or he said like it. Sahih Muslim 2596b Reference 45 Hadith 105 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying. It does not seem proper for a Sadiq that he should be an invoker of curse. Sahih Muslim 2597 a Reference 45 Hadith 106 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Abu Qurayb with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2597b Reference 45 Hadith 107 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Zaid B. Aslam reported that Abd al-Malik B. Marwan sent some domestic goods for decoration to Umm Darda on his own behalf, and when it was night Abd al-Malik got up and called for the servant. It seemed as if he, the servant, was late, in responding to his call, so he, Abd al-Malik, invoked curse upon him, and when it was morning Umm Darda said to him, I heard you cursing your servant during the night when you called him, and she said, I heard Abu Darda as saying that Allah's messenger said, The invoker of curse would neither be intercessor nor witness on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2598 a Reference 45 Hadith 108 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Zaid B. 
Aslam with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2598b Reference 45 Hadith 109 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Um Darda reported on the authority of Abu Darda as saying. I heard Allah's Messenger as saying. The Invoker of Curse would neither be witness nor intercessor on the Day of Resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2598c Reference 45 Hadith 110 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported it was said to Allah's Messenger. Invoke curse upon the polytheists, whereupon he said, I have not been sent as the invoker of curse, but I have been sent as mercy. Sahih Muslim 2599 Reference 45 Hadith 111 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha reported that two persons visited Allah's Messenger and both of them talked about a thing, of which I am not aware, but that annoyed him and he invoked curse upon both of them and hurled malediction, and when they went out I said, Allah's messenger, the good would reach everyone but it would not reach these two. He said, Why so? I said, Because you have invoked curse and hurled malediction upon both of them. He said, Don't you know that I have made condition with my Lord saying thus, O Allah, I am a human being and that for a Muslim upon whom I invoke curse or hurl malediction make it a source of purity and reward. Sahih Muslim 2600 a reference 45 hadith 112 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This hadith has been reported on the authority of Amash with the same chain of transmitters and the hadith transmitted on the authority of Isa. The words are, He had a private meeting with them and hurled malediction upon them and cursed them and sent them out. Sahih Muslim 2600b Reference 45 Hadith 113 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying shocked face, Allah, I am a human being and for any person amongst Muslims upon whom I hurl malediction or invoke curse or give him whipping make it a source of purity and mercy. Sahih Muslim 2601 Reference 45 Hadith 114 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Habir reported Allah's Apostle a Hadith like it but with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2602 Reference 45 Hadith 115 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Amash and in the hadith transmitted on the authority of Isa the words are. Make it a source of reward, and in the hadith transmitted on the authority of Abu Huraira, the words are. Make it a source of mercy. Sahih Muslim 2602b Reference 45 Hadith 116 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying shocked face, Allah, I make a covenant with thee against which thou wouldst never go. I am a human being and thus for a Muslim whom I give any harm or whom I scold or upon whom I invoke curse or whom I beat, make this a source of blessing, purification and nearness to thee on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2601b Reference 45 Hadith 117 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Abu Zinad with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2601c Reference 45 Hadith 118 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, 
enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship a hadith like this has been reported on the authority of Abu Huraira through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2601D Reference 45 Hadith 119 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Salim, the freed slave of Nazrian, said, I heard Abu Huraira as saying that he heard Allah's messenger as saying, O Allah, Muhammad peace be upon him as a human being. I lose my temper just as human beings lose temper, and I have held a covenant with thee which thou wouldst not break. For a believer who might give any trouble or invoke curse or beat, make that an expiation of his sins and a source of his nearness to thee on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2601e Reference 45 Hadith 120 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that he heard Allah's Messenger as saying shocked face, Allah, for any believing servant whom I curse make that as a source of nearness to thee on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2601F Reference 45 Hadith 121 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, I have held covenant with thee which thou wouldst not break, so for any believer whom I curse or beat, make that an expiation on the day of resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2601 Grams Reference 45 Hadith 122 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Habir B. Abdullah reported Allah's Messenger as saying, I am a human being and I have made this term with my Lord, the Exalted and Glorious. For any servant amongst Muslims whom I curse or scold, make that a source of purity and reward. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Ibn Jaray with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2602c, d reference 45 hadith 123. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Anas B. Malik reported that there was an orphan girl with Umm Sulaim, who was the mother of Anas. Allah's messenger saw that orphan girl and said shocked face, it is you, you have grown young. May you not advance in years. That slave girl returned to Umm Sulaim weeping. Umm Sulaim said, O oh daughter, what is the matter with you? She said, Allah's Apostle has invoked curse upon me that I should not grow in age and thus I would never grow in age, or she said, in my, length, of life. Umm Sulaim went out wrapping her head dress hurriedly until she met Allah's messenger. He said to her, Umm Sulaim, what is the matter with you? She said, Allah's Apostle, you invoked curse upon my orphan girl. He said, Umm Sulaim, what is that? She said, She, the orphan girl, states you have cursed her saying that she might not grow in age or grow in life. Allah's messenger smiled and then said, Um Sulaim, don't you know that I have made this term with my Lord? And the term with my Lord is that I said to him, 1 a.m. a human Sahih Muslim 2603 reference 45 hadith 124. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Being and I am pleased just as a human being is pleased and I lose temper just as a human being loses temper. So for any person from amongst my Ummah whom I curse and he in no way deserves it, let that, O Lord, be made a source of purification and purity and nearness to Allah on the Day of Resurrection. Sahih Muslim 2603 Reference 45 Hadith 124 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Ibn Abbas reported. 
I was playing with children that Allah's messenger happened to pass by us. I hid myself behind the door. He, the Prophet, came and patted my shoulders and said, Go and call Muawiyah. I returned and said, He is busy in taking food. He again asked me to go and call Muawiyah to him. I went, and came back, and said that he was busy in taking food, whereupon he said, May Allah not fill his belly. Ibn Mutana, said, I asked Um Umayya what he meant by the word Hatani. He said, It means he patted my shoulders. Sahih Muslim 2604 Reference 45 Hadith 125 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Ibn Abbas with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2604b Reference 45 Hadith 126 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, The worst amongst the people is the double-faced one. He comes to some people with one face and to others with the other face. Sahih Muslim 2526c Reference 45 Hadith 127 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that he heard Allah's Messenger as saying, The worst amongst people is one with the double face. He comes to some people with one face and to others with the other face. Sahih Muslim 2526d Reference 45 Hadith 128 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, You will find the worst amongst the people one having double face. He comes to some people with one face and to the others with the other face. Sahih Muslim 2526e Reference 45 Hadith 129 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship he made b. Abd al-Rahman b. Alf reported that his mother Um Kulthum daughter of Uqba b. Abu Maway, and she was one amongst the first emigrants who pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle, as saying that she heard Allah's messenger as saying, A liar is not one who tries to bring reconciliation amongst people and speaks good, in order to avert dispute, or he conveys good. Ibn Shihab said he did not hear that exemption was granted in anything what the people speak as lie but in three cases. In battle, for bringing reconciliation amongst persons and the narration of the words of the husband to his wife, and the narration of the words of a wife to her husband. In a twisted form in order to bring reconciliation between them. Sahih Muslim 2605 Reference 45 Hadith 130 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Ibn Shihab with the same chain of transmitters but with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2605b Reference 45 Hadith 131 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Zuri with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2605c Reference 45 Hadith 132 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abdullah B. Masood reported that Muhammad peace be upon him said, should I inform you that slandering, that is in fact a tale carrying which creates dissension amongst people, and he, further, said, the person tells the truth until he is recorded as truthful, and lie tells a lie until lie is recorded as a liar. Sahih Muslim 2606 Reference 45 Hadith 133
Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abdullah reported Allah's Messenger as saying. Truth leads one to paradise and virtue leads one to paradise and the person tells the truth until he is recorded as truthful. And lie leads to obscenity and obscenity leads to hell. And the person tells a lie until he is recorded as a liar. Sahih Muslim 2607 Reference 45 Hadith 134 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abdullah B. Masood reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Telling of truth is a virtue and virtue leads to paradise and the servant who endeavors to tell the truth is recorded as truthful and lie is obscenity and obscenity leads to hellfire, and the servant who endeavors to tell a lie is recorded as a liar. Ibn Abu Shayba reported this from Allah's Apostle. Sahih Muslim 2607b Reference 45 Hadith 135 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abdullah reported Allah's Messenger as saying, it is obligatory for you to tell the truth. For truth leads to virtue and virtue leads to paradise, and the man who continues to speak the truth and endeavors to tell the truth is eventually recorded as truthful with Allah. And beware of telling of a lie for telling of a lie leads to obscenity and obscenity leads to hell fire. And the person who keeps telling lies and endeavors to tell a lie is recorded as a liar with Allah. Sahih Muslim 2607c Reference 45 Hadith 136 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been reported on the authority of Amash with the same chain of transmitters and no mention is made in the Hadith transmitted on the authority of Isa. Of these words. He who endeavors to tell the truth and endeavors to tell a lie and in the hadith transmitted on the authority of Mushir. The words are, until Allah records it. Sahih Muslim 2607d Reference 45 Hadith 137 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abdullah B. Masood reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Whom do you count as Raqqab amongst you? They, his companions, said, One who has no children, the children are born unto him but they do not survive. Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, He is not a Raqqab but Raqqab is one who does not find his child as the forerunner, in paradise. He then said, Whom do you count as a wrestler amongst you? We said, He who wrestles with persons. He said, No, it is not he but one who controls himself when in a fit of rage. Sahih Muslim 2608 a Reference 45 Hadith 138 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Amash with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2608b Reference 45 Hadith 139 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, The strong man is not one who wrestles well but the strong man is one who controls himself when he is in a fit of rage. Sahih Muslim 2609 Reference 45 Hadith 140 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported. I heard Allah's Messenger as saying. One is not strong because of one's wrestling skillfully. They said. Allah's Messenger, then who is strong? He said. He who controls his anger when he is in a fit of rage. Sahih Muslim 2609b Reference 45 Hadith 141 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, 
enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been reported on the authority of Abu Huraira through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2609C Reference 45 Hadith 142 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Sulayman B. Sarad reported that two persons abused each other in the presence of Allah's Apostle and the eyes of one of them became red as embers and the veins of his neck were swollen. Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, I know of a wording, if he were to utter that, his fit of rage would be no more and that wording is, I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed. The person said, Do you find any madness in me? Ibn al-Allah said, Do you see it? And he made no mention of the person. Sahih Muslim 2610 Reference 45 Hadith 143 Sahih Muslim the Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Sulayman B. Sarad reported that two persons abused each other in the presence of Allah's Apostle and one of them fell into a rage and his face became red. Allah's Apostle saw him and said, I know of a wording, if he were to utter that, he would get out, of the fit of anger. And the wording is, I seek refuge with Allah from Satan, the accursed. Thereupon, a person went to him who had heard that from Allah's Apostle and said to him, Do you know what Allah's Messenger said? He, the Holy Prophet, said, I know of a wording, if he were to say that, the fit, would be no more, and the words are, I seek refuge with Allah from Satan, the accursed. And the person said to him, Do you find me mad? Sahih Muslim 2610b Reference 45 Hadith 144 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been reported on the authority of Amash with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2610c Reference 45 Hadith 145 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Anas reported Allah's Messenger as saying, When Allah fashioned Adam in Paradise, he left him as he liked him to leave. Then Iblis roamed round him to see what actually that was and when he found him hollow from within, he recognized that he had been created with a disposition that he would not have control over himself. Sahih Muslim 2611 Reference 45 Hadith 146 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship A Hadith like this has been narrated on the authority of Humaid with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2611b Reference 45 Hadith 147 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, When any one of you fights with his brother he should avoid striking at the face. Sahih Muslim 2612 Reference 45 Hadith 148 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Abu Zinad and he said, When one amongst you strikes, at the face. Sahih Muslim 2612b Reference 45 Hadith 149 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying, when any one of you fights with his brother, he should spare his face. Sahih Muslim 2612c Reference 45 Hadith 150 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, When any one of you fights with his brother, he should not slap at the face. 
Sahih Muslim 2612D Reference 45 Hadith 151 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been transmitted on the authority of Abu Huraira and in the Hadith transmitted on the authority of Ibn Hadim Allah's Apostle is reported to have said, When any one of you fights with his brother, he should avoid his face for Allah created Adam in his own image. Sahih Muslim 2612e Reference 45 Hadith 152 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, When any one of you fights with his brother, he should avoid the face. Sahih Muslim 2612F Reference 45 Hadith 153 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Urwa reported on the authority of his father that Hisham b. Hakim b. Hizam happened to pass by some people in Syria who had been made to stand in the sun and olive oil was being poured upon their heads. He said, What is this? It was said. They are being punished for, not paying, the Karish, the government revenue. Thereupon he said, Allah would punish those who torment people in this world, without any genuine reason. Sahih Muslim 2613 Reference 45 Hadith 154 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Hisham reported on the authority of his father that Hisham b. Hakim b. Hizam happened to pass by people the farmers of Syria, who had been made to stand in the sun. He said, What is the matter with them? They said, They have been detained for jizya. Thereupon Hisham said, I bear testimony to the fact that I heard Allah's messenger as saying, Allah would torment those who torment people in the world. Sahih Muslim 2613b Reference 45 Hadith 155 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Hisham with the same chain of transmitters and he made this addition of Jarir that, Hisham b. Hakim, went to Umair b. Sad who was then ruler in Palestine and he narrated to him this Hadith and he, submitting before the words of the Prophet, commanded that they should be let off and so they were let off. Sahih Muslim 2613c Reference 45 Hadith 156 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Urwa b. Zubair reported that Hisham b. Hakim found a person, the ruler of hymns, who had been detaining some Nabataeans in connection with the dues of Jizya. He said, what is this? I heard Allah's messenger as saying. Allah would torment those persons who torment people in the world. Sahih Muslim 2613d Reference 45 Hadith 157 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Amr heard Habir as saying. A person happened to come to the mosque with an arrow. Thereupon Allah's Messenger said to him, Take hold of its pointed head. Sahih Muslim 2614 Reference 45 Hadith 158 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Habir b. Abdullah reported that a person happened to come to the mosque with arrows and their iron ends were exposed so he was commanded that he should grasp the pointed heads so that these might not do any harm to a Muslim. Sahih Muslim 2614b Reference 45 Hadith 159 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, 
enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Habir reported that Allah's messenger commanded a person who had been distributing arrows freely in the mosque that he should not move about in the mosque but by catching hold of their iron heads. Ibn Rum narrated this with a slight variation of wording. Sahih Muslim 2614 C Reference 45 Hadith 160 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abid Musa reported that Allah's Messenger said, When any one of you happens to go to a meeting or the bazaar with an arrow in his hand he must grasp its pointed head, then, he again said. He must grasp its pointed head. Abu Musa said. By Allah, we did not court death until some of us had flung arrows upon the faces of one another. Sahih Muslim 2615 Reference 45 Hadith 161 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Musa reported Allah's Apostle a saying. He who amongst you moves in the mosque or in the bazaar and there is an arrow with him he should take hold of its iron head in his palm so that none amongst the Muslims should receive any injury from it, or he said, should catch its iron head. Sahih Muslim 2615b Reference 45 Hadith 162 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported. Abul Qasim, the Kunya of Allah's Messenger, may peace be upon him. Said, he who pointed a weapon towards his brother the angels invoke curse upon him even if he is his real brother so long as he does not abandon it, the pointing of weapon towards one's brother Muslim. Sahih Muslim 2616 Reference 45 Hadith 163 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported a hadith like this from Allah's Apostle through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2616b Reference 45 Hadith 164 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported a hadith from Allah's Messenger. One of them was this. That Allah's Messenger said. None amongst you should point a weapon towards his brother, for he does not know that Satan might cause the weapon to slip from his hand and he may injure anyone, and thus he may fall into hell fire. Sahih Muslim 2617 Reference 45 Hadith 165 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger as saying. While a person was going along the path he found a thorny branch upon it. He pushed it to a side and Allah approved, this action, of his and, as a mark of appreciation, granted him pardon. Sahih Muslim 1914b Reference 45 Hadith 166 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying. A person while walking along the path saw the branches of a tree lying there. He said. By Allah, I shall remove these from this so that these may not do harm to the Muslims, and he was admitted to paradise. Sahih Muslim 1914 C Reference 45 Hadith 167 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying that he saw a person enjoying himself in paradise because of the tree that he cut from the path which was a source of inconvenience to the people. Sahih Muslim 1914d Reference 45 Hadith 168 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying that there was a tree which caused inconvenience to the Muslims. 
a person came there and cut that tree, and thus entered paradise. Sahih Muslim 1914 e reference 45 hadith 169. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Barza reported. I said, Allah's Messenger, teach me something so that I may derive benefit from it. He said, Remove the troublesome thing from the paths of the Muslims. Sahih Muslim 2618 a reference 45 hadith 170. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Barza reported that he said to Allah's Messenger. Allah's Messenger, I do not know whether I would survive after you, so confer upon me something by which Allah should benefit me. Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, do this and that and remove the troublesome things from the paths. Sahih Muslim 2618b Reference 45 Hadith 171 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abdullah reported that Allah's Messenger said, A woman was tormented because of a cat which she had confined until it died and she had to get into hell. She did not allow it either to eat or drink as it was confined, nor did she free it so that it might eat the vermin of the earth. Sahih Muslim 2242d Reference 45 Hadith 172 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship the above hadith is narrated through another chain of transmitters with the same meaning Sahih Muslim 2242e reference 45 hadith 173. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been reported on the authority of Ibn Umar through another chain of transmitters. And Ibn Umar reported Allah's messenger as saying, A woman was tormented because of a cat which she had tied and thus allowed it neither to eat or drink nor set it free so that it might eat the vermin of the earth. Sahih Muslim 2242F Reference 45 Hadith 174 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated on the authority of Abu Huraira through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2242 grams reference 45 hadith 175. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported from Allah's Messenger a hadith out of which one was this that Allah's Messenger said. A woman got into hellfire because of a cat whom she had tied, and thus it could not eat, and she did not let it free so that it could devour the vermin of the earth, until it died. Sahih Muslim 2619 Reference 45 Hadith 176 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Sa'id Qudri and Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Allah, the Exalted and Glorious, said, Glory is his lower garment and majesty is his cloak and, Allah says, He who contends with me in regard to them I shall torment him. Sahih Muslim 2620 Reference 45 Hadith 177 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Jundab reported that Allah's Messenger stated that a person said, Allah would not forgive such and such, person. Thereupon Allah the Exalted and Glorious, said, who is he who adjures about me that I would not grant pardon to so and so? I have granted pardon to so and so and blotted out his deeds. Who took an oath that I would not grant pardon to him? Sahih Muslim 2621 Reference 45 Hadith 178 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, 
and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger, may peace he upon him, as saying, Many a person with disheveled hair and covered with dust is turned away from the doors, whereas he is held in such a high esteem by Allah, that if he were to adjure in the name of Allah, about anything, Allah would fulfill that. Sahih Muslim 2622 Reference 45 Hadith 179 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, When a person says that people are ruined he is himself ruined. Abu Ishaq said, I do not know whether he said Alakaham or Alakaham. Sahih Muslim 2623 Reference 45 Hadith 180 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Sahail with the same chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2623b Reference 45 Hadith 181 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Aisha reported Allah's Messenger as saying, Gabriel impressed upon me, kind treatment, towards the neighbor, so much, that I thought as if he would confer upon him the, right, of inheritance. Sahih Muslim 2624 Reference 45 Hadith 182 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Aisha through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2624b Reference 45 Hadith 183 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Ibn Umar reported Allah's messenger as saying, Gabriel impressed upon me, the kind treatment, towards the neighbor, so much, that I thought as if he would soon confer upon him the, right, of inheritance. Sahih Muslim 2625 Reference 45 Hadith 184 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Dair reported Allah's messenger as saying, Abu Dair, when you prepare the broth, add water to that and give that, as a present, to your neighbor. Sahih Muslim 2625b Reference 45 Hadith 185 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Dair reported Allah's messenger commanded me thus. Whenever you prepare a broth, add water to it, and have in your mind the members of the household of your neighbors and then give them out of this with courtesy. Sahih Muslim 2625c Reference 45 Hadith 186 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Dair reported. Allah's Apostle said to me, Don't consider anything insignificant out of good things even if it is that you meet your brother with a cheerful countenance. Sahih Muslim 2626 Reference 45 Hadith 187 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Musa reported that when any needy, person, came to Allah's messenger with a need he commanded him to his companions, saying, Make a recommendation for him, and you would get the reward. Allah, however, gives the verdict through the tongue of his apostle what he likes most. Sahih Muslim 2627 Reference 45 Hadith 188 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Musa reported Allah's Messenger as saying, The similitude of good company and that of bad company is that of the owner of musk and of the one, ironsmith, blowing bellows, 
and the owner of musk would either offer you free of charge or you would buy it from him or you would smell its pleasant odor and so far as one who blows the bellows is concerned he would either burn your clothes or you shall have to smell its repugnant smell sahih muslim 2628 reference 45 hadith 189 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Aisha, the wife of Allah's apostle, said. A woman came to me along with her two daughters. She asked me for charity, but she found nothing with me except one date, so I gave her that. She accepted it and then divided it between her two daughters and herself ate nothing out of that. She then got up and went out, and so did her two daughters. In the meanwhile, Allah's Apostle visited me and I narrated to him her story. Thereupon Allah's Apostle said, He who is involved, in the responsibility, of, bringing up, daughters, and he accords benevolent treatment towards them, there would be protection for him against hell fire. Sahih Muslim 2629 Reference 45 Hadith 190 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Aisha reported. A poor woman came to me along with her daughters. I gave her three dates. She gave a date to each of them and then she took up one date and brought that to her mouth in order to eat that, but her daughters expressed desire to eat it. She then divided the date that she intended to eat between them. This. Kind treatment of her impressed me and I mentioned that which she did to Allah's messenger. Thereupon he said, Verily Allah has assured paradise for her, because of, this act, of her, or he has rescued her from hell fire. Sahih Muslim 2630 Reference 45 Hadith 191 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Malik reported Allah's messenger as saying, He, who brought up two girls properly till they grew up, he and I would come, together, very closely, on the day of resurrection, and he interlaced his fingers, for explaining the point of nearness between him and that person. Sahih Muslim 2631 Reference 45 Hadith 192 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Apostle as saying, Anyone amongst the Muslims, three of whose children die, and he resigns himself calmly to the will of God, fire will not touch him but for the fulfillment of the oath. Sahih Muslim 2632 Reference 45 Hadith 193 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship This hadith has been reported by Zuri on the authority of Malik, and in the hadith transmitted on the authority of Sufyan, the words are, he would enter into fire, except for the fulfillment of the oath. Sahih Muslim 2632b Reference 45 Hadith 194 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported that Allah's Messenger said to a woman of the Ansar, In case anyone amongst you sees the sad demise of three children of, hers, and she resigns herself to the will of God hoping to get reward, she would be admitted to paradise. A woman from amongst them said, Allah's Messenger, even if they, the children who die, are two. Thereupon, he, the Holy Prophet, said, even if they are two. Sahih Muslim 2632c Reference 45 Hadith 195 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Sa'id Qudri reported that a woman came to Allah's Messenger and said, Allah's Messenger, men receive your instructions, kindly allocate at your convenience a day for us also, on which we would come to you and you would teach us what Allah has taught you. He said, 
you assemble on such and such a day. They assembled and Allah's messenger came to them and taught them what Allah had taught him and he then said, No woman amongst you who sends her three children as her forerunners, in the hereafter. But they would serve him as a protection against hellfire. A woman said, What about two and two and two? Thereupon Allah's messenger said, Even if they are two and two and two. Sahih Muslim 2633 Reference 45 Hadith 196 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that he, the Holy Prophet, said, Three, children, who die in childhood. Sahih Muslim 2634 Reference 45 Hadith 197 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Hassan reported. I said to Abu Huraira that my two children had died. Would you narrate to me anything from Allah's Messenger a Hadith which would soothe our hearts in our bereavements? He said, Yes, small children are the fowls of paradise. If one of them meets his father, or he said his parents, he would take hold of his cloth, or he said with his hand as I take hold of the hem of your cloth, with my hand. And he, the child, would not take off, his hand, from it until Allah causes his father to enter paradise. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Tamim with the same chain of transmitters. And he is reported to have said, Did you hear from Allah's Messenger anything which may soothe our heart in our bereavements? He said, Yes, Sahih Muslim 2635 Reference 45 Hadith 198 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that a woman came to Allah's Apostle with her child and said, Allah's Apostle, invoke Allah's blessing upon him for I have already buried three. He said, You have buried three. She said, Yes. Thereupon he, the Holy Prophet, said, You have, indeed, safeguarded yourself against the torment of hell with a strong safeguard. Umar has made a mention of his father, whereas others have not made a mention of his father. Sahih Muslim 2636 a Reference 45 Hadith 199 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported that a woman came to Allah's Apostle with her child and said, Allah's Messenger, he is ailing, and I am afraid, that he may die, as I have already buried three. Thereupon he said, It, their sad demise, would be a protection against hell fire for you. Zuhair has not mentioned the kunya of Abu Jiyath, he has mentioned his name. Sahih Muslim 2636b Reference 45 Hadith 200 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira reported that Allah's messenger said, When Allah loves a servant, he calls Gabriel and says, Verily, I so and so, you should also love him, and then Gabriel begins to love him. Then he makes an announcement in the heaven saying, Allah loves so and so and you also love him, and then the inhabitants of the heaven. The angels, also begin to love him and then there is conferred honor upon him in the earth. And when Allah is angry with any servant he calls Gabriel and says, I am angry with such and such and you also become angry with him. And then Gabriel also becomes angry and then makes an announcement amongst the inhabitants of heaven. Verily Allah is angry with so and so, so you also become angry with him, and thus they also become angry with him. Then he becomes the object of wrath on the earth also. Sahih Muslim 2637 Reference 45 Hadith 201 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, 
enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been reported on the authority of Sahail with the same chain of transmitters except with this variation that in the hadith transmitted on the authority of Ali B. Musayib, there is no mention of, the word, anger. Sahih Muslim 2637b Reference 45 Hadith 202 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Sahail B. Abi Salah, reported, We were in Arafa that there happened to pass Umar B. Abd al-Aziz and he was the emir of Hajj. People stood up in order to catch a glimpse of him. I said to my father, Father, I think that Allah loves Umar B. Abd al-Aziz. He said, How is it? I said, It is because of the love in people's heart for him. Thereupon he said, By one who created your father, I heard Abu Huraira narrating from Allah's messenger hadith like one transmitted on the authority of Sahail. Sahih Muslim 2637c Reference 45 Hadith 203 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger saying, Souls are troops collected together and those who familiarized with each other in the heaven from where these come, would have affinity, with one another, in the world. And those amongst them who opposed each other, in the heaven, would also be divergent, in the world. Sahih Muslim 2638 Reference 45 Hadith 204 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Abu Huraira narrated directly from Allah's messenger that he said, People are like mines of gold and silver. Those who were excellent in Jahiliya, during the days of ignorance, are excellent in Islam, when they have, an understanding, and the souls are troops collected together and those who had a mutual familiarity amongst themselves in the store of prenatal existence would have affinity amongst them, in this world also and those who opposed one of them, would be at variance with one another. Sahih Muslim 2638b Reference 45 Hadith 205 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Anas B. Malik reported that a desert Arab said to Allah's Messenger, When would be the last hour? Allah's Messenger said, what preparation have you made for that? Thereupon he said, The love of Allah and of his messenger, that is my preparation for the last hour, for the day of resurrection. Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, You would be along with one whom you love. Sahih Muslim 2639 Reference 45 Hadith 206 Sahih Muslim The Book of Virtue Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Anas reported that a person said to Allah's messenger, When would be the last hour? He, the holy prophet, said, What preparation have you made for that? And he gave no details, but said, I love Allah and his messenger. Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, You would be along with one whom you love. Anas B. Malik reported through another chain of transmitters that a desert Arab came to Allah's messenger, may peace be upon, him. The rest of the hadith is the same but with this variation that he said, I have not made much preparations which merit appreciation for myself. Sahih Muslim 2639b, see reference 45 hadith 207. Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue. Enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Anas B. Malik reported that a person came to Allah's messenger and said to Allah's messenger, When would be the last hour? Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, What preparation have you made for the last hour? He said, The love of Allah and of his messenger, is my only preparation. Thereupon he, the holy prophet, said, you would be along with one whom you love. 
Anas said. Nothing pleased us more after accepting Islam than the words of Allah's Apostle. You would be along with one whom you love. And Anas said, I love Allah and his messenger and Abu Bakr and Umar, and I hope that I would be along with them although I have not acted like them. Sahih Muslim 2639d Reference 45 Hadith 208 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Anas B. Malik reported Allah's apostle this hadith through another chain of transmitters but he did not make mention of the words of Anas. I love, and what follows subsequently. Sahih Muslim 2639e Reference 45 Hadith 209 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship Anas B. Malik reported. Allah's messenger and I were coming out of the mosque that we met a person on the threshold of the mosque and he said to Allah's messenger. When would be the last hour? Allah's messenger said. What preparation have you made for that? The man became silent and then said. Allah's messenger. I have made no significant preparation with prayer and fasting and charity but I. However, love Allah and his messenger. Thereupon, the holy prophet, said, You would be along with one whom you love. Sahih Muslim 2639F Reference 45 Hadith 210 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been narrated on the authority of Anas through another chain of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2639 Grams Reference 45 Hadith 211 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship This Hadith has been reported on the authority of Anas with different chains of transmitters. Sahih Muslim 2639 H Reference 45 Hadith 212 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abdullah reported that a person came to Allah's Messenger and said to Allah's Messenger, What is your opinion about the person who loves the people but his acts or deeds are not identical to theirs? Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, A person would be along with one whom he loves. Sahih Muslim 2640 A Reference 45 Hadith 213 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship A Hadith like this has been transmitted on the authority of Abdullah. Sahih Muslim 2640b Reference 45 Hadith 214 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Musa, reported that a person came to Allah's Messenger. The rest of the Hadith is the same. Sahih Muslim 2641 Reference 45 Hadith 215 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue, Enjoining Good Manners, and Joining of the Ties of Kinship Abu Dair reported. It was said to Allah's Messenger. What is your opinion about the person who has done good deeds and the people praise him? He said. It is glad tidings for a believer, which he has received in this mortal world. Sahih Muslim 2642 Reference 45 Hadith 216 Sahih Muslim. The Book of Virtue enjoining good manners, and joining of the ties of kinship this hadith has been narrated through another chain of transmitters also and the one transmitted on the authority of Shuba. The words are, people love him. In the hadith transmitted on the authority of Abid as Samad, the words are, people praise him as stated by Hamad. Sahih Muslim 2642b Reference 45 Hadith 217